Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is my first time going to Europe. So here is what I pack in my personal luggage, specifically my Louis Vuitton carry-on. So we'll be going to Europe for 10 days and I'll be packing extremely light, meaning that I will only be taking my personal luggage and a carry-on. And I know that sounds crazy, but I know I can do it. My wife typically plans a birthday trip for me every year and this year the destination is one from my bucket list. I've been watching countless of European travel vacation videos, packing tips, and the biggest thing that I took away from those videos is that you have to travel lightly. Travel as light as possible. I am so happy that I decided to get this vintage Louis Vuitton carry-all. It not only serves as a really big bag for days that I have to lug a lot of stuff around, but it also serves as luggage whenever I am traveling. This thing holds a ton so to make packing my personal luggage super easy and to ensure that I don't forget anything I did create a list of things that absolutely have to make it in this bag so the first thing on the list is going to be my laptop and my work essentials meaning this travel pouch this has everything from my laptop charger my phone charger my vlogging camera batteries a charger a power bank memory card so of course I'm gonna need it inside my personal luggage because I intend on doing some work on the plane next I'll be packing four handbags and I know that sounds excessive because I intend to pack lightly which for me means that I'm gonna be packing mainly neutral things that can work with each other to create different outfits I like to use accessories like handbags and make the outfits look different and stylish so the first bag that we're gonna pack into my carry-on is going to be my Alma BB I have raved about this bag because it is just the most perfect little everyday bag I personally believe that this is going to be invaluable to me on this trip because this bag can go with literally anything you can dress it up you can dress it down but also I to get to play with fashion and have my Instagram worthy moments while I'm away so of course I had to take my Alma BB this was my first luxury purchase and I am so happy that I'll be able to bring her on her first trip out of the country it will be our first time in Europe but in actuality this bag will be my everyday bag so everything that normally goes in this bag is gonna go in before I put it in the bag the first thing that normally goes inside this bag is my small toiletry case which I mentioned earlier. It's this small coach pouch that houses everything from tampons, hand sanitizers, hand creams, a small perfume, little small things that I may need access to while on the plane. Then I like to put in my bigger wallet, which has all my credit cards and debit cards, cash, things of that nature then I like to also pack this smaller card holder this is gonna be perfect for my smaller bags and this goes right in the Alma BB as well and then lastly we have this clever little invention whoever created the bag hook is an absolute genius I just love the fact that it can sit on the table and then your bag can simply just sit under the table this is just absolutely perfect in my opinion I don't have to worry about finding an extra chair to put my bag on or taking up space on the table especially in Europe all the little tables at the cafes are super small anyway so I just figured it would make absolute sense to take my bag hook with me I love how neat and compact it is it comes in this super cute red pouch which makes it easy to find once I drop it inside my purse and then lastly my passport I like to just slip it in the corner of my bag like that I leave it open so I have easy access to anything I may need as I'm going through the airport and then I just pop it inside my personal luggage tuck the straps and just push it to the far corner in the bag the next bag that we'll be taking on this trip is going to be my Brandon Blackwood Kendrick trunk this is the Kendrick trunk in nylon in burnt orange I absolutely love this bag my only issue is that because this bag is nylon it's a fabric so it it's super hard to clean I've gotten a few scuffs and marks all over it which is so funny because the back of this bag is clean as a whistle but the front the part that you want to hold forward is so messy and I don't know she has lived I've used it and I love her she has earned her place in my wardrobe but when traveling just in case I have to take anything out of the bag I like to travel with this bag in its dust bag and 
put it right in the Louis Vuitton carry-all. Our third bag is going to be my Bottega Veneta Jody dupe. I got this from TJ Maxx. I absolutely love this bag. It is perfect for packing because it is a softer, more slouchy bag. Super easy for me to fold the bag in half. Put it flat on top of my laptop. It's super easy to pack. It's just the perfect bag. I can go on and on about it, but I won't. We're gonna move on to our last bag, which is going to be my white Laura Piana L19 dupe. I am not recommending this bag because it's not necessarily the best quality. I just love the fact that it's white. I just truly believe that a white bag is perfect in the summertime to style your summer outfits. I wanna take my time in doing research and finding the perfect white luxury bag. Until then, this Amazon dupe is going to be perfect and it just sits quite nicely inside my personal luggage as well. Then I'm going to quickly pop in my last little knickknacks, which is going to be my travel jewelry box. This has all the jewelry that I could possibly need for this trip. I have a row for rings and earrings. And then at the top, I was able to stack a couple of necklaces. That's really all I'm going to need for this trip. It was also from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it if I can find this or something similar. Lastly, I have three sunglasses that I got from Sojo Vision. I'm going to quickly pack these as well and everything fits so nicely in the bag. I need a scarf on the plane, wrap my hair and then put my hair away so I'm super comfortable while trying to sleep on the plane. I like that I can easily just slip it in the back pocket because there is a slip pocket in the back of this bag and that is everything that I'll be taking in this bag on this this trip it's not too heavy but there is a bit of weight that's the reason why I chose to use this bag as a personal luggage there is still so much more space so I can get away with adding more things to this if I need to just before we leave if you want to see what I pack in my carry-on suitcase for this 10-day trip to Europe be sure to look out for that video it'll be going up next week also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really does help the channel out I really do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you do not miss whenever I post another video. And as always, until next time, love you, bye.